Hey guys, Wolf here, and welcome back to Ask Carl's Crew Month for episode 58. We're going to Richmond, and this will be the first time in this crew month that we're going into it with a proper, like, uh, short track chassis. So it's going to be 95, 90, 90, which is very good. I did some practice off camera, so I have an idea of what to expect, and it seemed all right. So here's our settings, like usual. Nothing's different here, but I thought I would show it for posterity's sake. Not in that posterity where, it's, but. but <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So um, I don't know. We'll see what we can do. Um, what we can do is look at our tier two Patreon people as well as my YouTube members for support my channel. Again, I appreciate what you guys do for my channel every month. It does me a lot. Helps me out a ton. You get early access to videos and uh, channel emotes. Those are the the perks. So there's that. And um, with all that said, there's not a whole lot else to look at. We're well good to go in the playoffs and everything it's just more or less you know will ryan blaney be a problem will we lead laps and win to add to our juicy stat book thing on the screen i don't know we have a lot of questions that need to be answered today so let's jump into it and see if we can you know extend that rival count because the goal is i think the original goal was like 175 we need to get to that we're not there yet so we still got a ways to go to achieve that goal of having the worst rival in any nascar game ever through three and four it felt like a pretty good lap but with only one lap it's hard to really get a good gauge but that's 21 7 well off the goal time 27 that's uh well we didn't we start like 29th somewhere else and we're, was able to get up through the field so i don't know maybe we'll do something in the, in the i was gonna say main i okay well, Ryan Blaine's up there, so we don't got to worry about him running into me. So maybe the rival counter won't go up today. That'll be interesting. So um, maybe I'll make some adjustments to the car if it's a bit too tight. I'm not really sure. Ryan Blaine's in a DLC car. I see that. That that's that's good for the for the four people that that had to sacrifice their families to make that scheme in the game. So uh, got to point out when I can, as usual. So yeah, um, no car looked like they were on fire, so that's good. And I think we gained a spot. So, hooray. Now, usually in these heat games, Richmond, you can gain a lot of spots on the start. Didn't really quite work out. Trying to find my way to the bottom. And we will. Ooh, oh. We did we get through turn two, and I already hit Sindri, but uh, we're fine. We lost spots, though. Oh, maybe not. The bell just kind of checked up. So, yeah, the AI at this track have always been extremely OP, and up to the point where... Even pro league drivers had a hard time racing here because the AI were just that fast. So yeah, they were they were comically broken. I don't know if they've been fixed over the years or not. I, I don't know, but that's just, just a little like backstory. And so far, um, have not made any progress. We okay, we made some. Okay, that's alright, that's something. Well, that's that's a patented heat heat AI shenanigan right there, just sending it in the corner. Even with a 95 engine, we're still really slow. Now, to be fair, the, t the temp is just freaking out because they set the default way too high on the, on the imaginary girl tape, so that's annoying. And also, uh, maybe because the air on suspension aren't 95, so that's maybe affecting it. I don't really know. But yeah, we're just stuck at 26, so yeah, this, this is... <laughs> I, just, I can't do anything. It finally happened. It took... Almost half this stage, but we finally advanced from our 26th starting position. Oh, maybe even another one. Oh my, why is Larson back here? Alright, uh, hey, I'll, I'll take some free spots. Maybe we'll get more on Corey LaJoy. Oh, we did the heat AI poke thing, except we didn't run anyone over. And of course, Ryan Blaney is dropping back just to spite me. Of course. Why would I expect anything more or less from this horrifically broken NASCAR rival, rival system? I don't think I can give Ryan Blaney more room than I am right now. Like, going into the corner, I could just... Oh, oh my god, he actually... He didn't hit me! Holy... Call the presses! This... That's not... Not right. But look at us, we're gonna get up, up to 19th. That's better than what we were doing in the spring, so... This is indeed progress. My flag's out for stage number one. There's really not a whole lot to say in terms of the car performance. I mean, it's definitely a bit slow on the straights, but... Wow, that was a... That was one awful corner. <laughs> but, 
Yeah, it's, you know, it handles all right. It's just slow on the straights. That's really our biggest weakness. We'll, we'll finish it off in 19th. With a little bit better track position for stage two, maybe we can gain a little more spots. I definitely got to make adjustments to the, the the imaginary girl tape because it is uh, way too hot. So we're going to put that down at 35, and that's really about it. Damn, Chris Buescher lost 14 spots. We didn't lose any, so we're still on the inside line. We can cheese the start here, so this is a big opportunity. Briscoe has damage, I think, or that's just part of the car design. It's part of the car design. I am. My eyes are getting all fuzzy in my old age. Eo Lugano's trying to go for a lead. That is absolutely revolting. So hopefully that changes. Briscoe backed out of that. I, I don't blame him. That was a terrible corner. And he'll get me back, so that's karma. Oh, no, Bowman took the lead. All right, that's good. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm just not ever really used to running up this far at Richmond in this game, so this is a little bit of uh, uncharted territory. Also, Stenhouse. Why? 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 Oh, my God. Fucking phone calls. I've, I've gotten woken up three times by fucking phone calls. It's dri driving me absolutely fucking nuts this week. Or today. And, of course, I messed up. I've messed up my funky groove. I'm sorry, Busher. You know, phone call in the middle of the... You know, just... Happens all the time in real life. Not race car drivers. But... Yeah, alright. Now, now I'm trying to get back in my groove. And if we can get by Stenhouse, then I think we can chill for a little bit. He's got the outside line. Alright. No, no, hold on. Larson. Larson. Damn it, I'm not clear. I don't want to be three wide. <laughs> Just let him go. Just, just let him go. He's gonna probably slide up the track. No, he didn't. Okay. All right. Let's, let's, let's just get underneath him. Perfect. Oh, oh, God. We're actually gonna the crossover championship driver Kyle Larson and Cole Custer to try and make it four wide. Why, why are we just having an epic battle for 16th? I just, I'm turning to the right car. Stop. Oh man. It, remember, remember when this race was chill? I remember that. Good times. And there goes Bush, uh, Busher, Bell, Briscoe. Oh, my God. Oh, there goes Ryan Blaney. Yep. All right. Well, he didn't hit me, but he got close. I don't want to be in that position, though, because I don't trust this game with anything. All right. There we go. Briscoe goes up high. We'll go down low. Man, that was that was a freaking hootenanny just for freaking like 18th or 17th position. We're still not clear of him. That really awkward moment when Carl <laughs> when Kyle Larson is running this far back. Don't I don't understand it. But what I do understand is we gained a position out of that, and that makes me slightly less angry. We've copped to Cole Custer. So Oh, there were Just as we had something to talk about, there had to be an AI rack, and that was Kyle Bush in the outside wall. And now he's just taking his anger out on everyone. <laughs> why why is he hitting Jones? Okay, well, um, yeah, he was pissed off. Can't blame him. Gibbs probably gave him a car that just wanted to break and stuff. So that, that's understandable. I don't know why he had to take it out on Jones. That's he had nothing to do with any of that. But we got a four-tire stop. Ooh, okay, we lost the spot. We're on the inside line, so it actually kind of worked out. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what we can do here on the start. And just you know, go from there. I think we can make it to the end. Of the oh, my God, Custer had the restart glitch, and that gave me fucking nose damage. That's the odds of that was like, oh, there goes Ryan Blaney right there. I don't want that rival counter to go up. Sorry, Suarez. That dodged a rival counter moment. That was absolutely insane. Didn't think that was going to happen, but we were, we were blessed. Look at that, Stenhouse is all that in a bag of freaking chips. He wins the 500, and now he thinks he can just go three wide on me and freaking Bragasowski. He made it work. Alright, he proved me wrong, but... Yeah, we're trying to crack in the top 15. The crazy thing is this is still way better than what we did here in the spring, where we got, I think, like, 21st, so... Yeah, those, those upgrades definitely did something. I just think it was the worst track to test this out, because the AI are just way too fast here, but... I don't know if we'll get our top 10 incentive goal thing. Or not. I mean, we're very close to it. We're only five spots away, but... Yeah, we're just kind of cruising. And we'll just wait. Don't know why Custer was running the high lane, but... That, 
we were able to get the spot from it. Of course, just somehow, some way, Cindric's leading. It's just, I guess it's par for the course for the real life 2022 season where literally anyone can win. Like, I bet if you go to Disneyland, I guarantee you would win a cup race somehow. Don't know how or why, but you'll you'll win a cup race. So yeah, it's just it was just the everyone gets a win type of season. So yeah. luckily with the power of tire fall off, we're able to start to make up some spots here. So I think the only shot we have of getting a top ten is if this you know the last stage goes green for a ridiculously long amount of period of time. Also, Busher got by me, which I think is probably fair considering I did hit him early in the race. So um, Karma bit me. And I just hit him again. But wh why? Wh why do that? He passed me fairly, and now he's getting pissed. He's sm that wasn't tire smoke. That was just steam coming out of his helmet because he was pissed at me. My right, flag's out for stage two. We did get around Busher. And now we're dealing with the lap cars, so... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't... I, top ten's going to be tough. That, that much I think we can assess from this situation. They're just really good on the short run. So the goal is try to not bleed too many spots from that. But I don't know, we'll see. But Harvey gets the stage two victory. We'll bring it home to 12. So, yeah, car pretty good. <laughs> and, yeah, um, a lot of parity up at the front, a lot of different leaders. So, yeah, we'll pay, get our four tires and fuel, repair the damage, and you know, see if we can kind of like squeak a top 10 out. We lost a spot, but again, <laughs> we're on the inside line, which is really good. So. Yeah, with uh, what, 35, 36 laps to go, it's it's weird how they do the stages here anymore. Um, okay, it's 40. I remember the time when it used to be, I don't know, like the stage was like half the race distance or something. And the other stages were, like for Richmond, it would be like 100 laps for stage one, maybe 97 laps for stage two, and the last one would be like 203 or something. It's not like that anymore. Now, now, like, the last stage is slightly longer than the main one, but it's just, like, kind of broken up evenly. It's like, I don't know, wouldn't the last part of the race just be, like, the longest green flag run? Not by barely, but, like, a lot. I don't, I don't know. Enough of me rambling on, but we're very close to a top ten. Kurt's up here, so that's that's nice. I'm sure he'll pass me, though, because his car is pretty good on the short run. But, yeah, we're we're right there. We are, we are Jack Frost nipping on that top ten nose. <laughs> Logan's trying everything he possibly can to give me this spot. He's run the high lane. He's just giving me a lot of room. But I just lack the corner and straightaway speed to really kind of fully just complete the pass. He's just teasing me. He knows. It's it Maybe it's not because he's being nice. It's just he knows. Oh, that was a terrible, that was a terrible fucking corner. There goes Busher. But all right, let's just get back in line. Let's, let's get it to the bottom lane. Okay, let's do Turn, get to the bottom lane. There we go. Okay, it was a little scary. I was gonna say, I, th I think Logano was doing it on purpose. It was—he wasn't trying to be nice. I just imagine him doing it on purpose, just to, just annoy me. Because Logano can't ever do something with the kindness of his heart. It has to be somewhat like malicious intent. So, yeah. And of course, Busher just drives right around like he's standing still. So that's just gonna make me more infuriated. But as the tires wear, we should be able to be on the the receiving end of good. So. Maybe one of these days we'll clear them. I just... We haven't gotten to that. I haven't evolved yet. I might have finally evolved. I got by him. Alright, P11. I'll take it. Oh my god, Byron. What are you doing? That was really freaking weird. I I don't know what did he blow. That was a weird way for him to wreck. I don't know how or why it was like that. Um, Man, we might be able to make it on fuel if we pit here. But I don't trust this game to... Kyle Busch is last. That sucks. Um, I think we're just going to stay out. get this, Keep this track position. And go from there. But the only sucky thing is running outside, so... I, we'll definitely have to pit with... Uh, I don't know how many laps left to go, but... I don't know. Let's see if we can uh, get a good launch on the start. Try to get to the inside line. Failed to do it, but... If I could just back off here. There we go. That was some, uh... You know, pro-gamer strat moves right there to... Get back to the bottom lane. But yeah, we're in the top ten. 
Now we'll see if we have the card to maintain it. That's another question that's up to the eye of the beholder. Well, maybe not. That, that doesn't make any sense, but... I was going to say, at some point, we were closing in on Byron at the end of Stage 2, so I was thinking maybe we would catch him here at the end of this stage, but... He wrecked himself before I had a chance to really, like, articulate that point, so... Oh well. I tapped Chastain, so I'm hoping he doesn't wreck himself in the next corner. He goes up high, though. He gives me a lot of room. And we're just gonna get away from those two together there, because that, that's a recipe for disaster. I just blocked Chastain. That wasn't very nice, but... Alright, we're good. We're gonna be able to relax for a little bit, so that's very... That's also very comfortable. Pusher looks like he's starting to fall off a bit, so that's kind of how we're able to reel him in, but... We actually made the pass up to P7. This is gone way better than I really expected. I really thought maybe top 15 max, but here we are running seven. So uh, yeah, this is this is, this has gone really well. So it's about 15 laps to go, still in seventh. We're kind of just in our own zone, pulling away from eighth, but we're not closing in on sixth. We're gonna have to pit here pretty shortly. For three laps on the fuel. Obviously, when we do pit, we're just going to take right side tires. Because no way we're going to take four and lose like 10 seconds of time. Because the AI are shockingly smart when it comes to any of these races and like what strategy they kind of decide to use. Or I guess it's easy to anticipate it. I guess is probably the better word for it. But, but yeah, pit stops are on the horizon. Heads up on them. They're coming this time. There's people pitting. We're going to do the same. It's a bit of a risk pitting this early because so you never know what the AI in this game. But. All right, <laughs> we barely got down there in the, in the amount of time we needed, but yeah, just a standard right side tire stop, and that, that's it. That's a 10 second stop. I guess that's the perk of you know not being like the leader, so you can make a decision when you're in the pack. Like, oh, if the you know rest of the people in front of you are pitting, might as well do the same, sir. So they're not gonna like give you a massive undercut. I'm trying to be careful on the access road there, but all right, there we go, perfect. Now we'll just wait for things to cycle through. I would imagine. Either we gain spots, or we stay the same. That That's really all I can assume. So we're 6th currently. Oh, we're 5th? Oh, we're 4th? Ooh. Damn, is that 3rd? That was 3rd. Holy shit. Well, damn. Und us undercutting the field by that 1 or 2 laps, that was a massive help. We're going to get in the top 5. Holy crap. <laughs> well, Byron still has yet to pit. So, I mean, he was one of those people that pitted when the yellow came out. So, we will actually cycle out the second once this is all said and done. We got, like, almost a four-second gap over Hamlin and Bubba, so... Or Cindric really, so... A top five is on lock for us. Holy shit. <laughs> so, the only other question is, is if Byron can make it to the end. Because we restarted with about 30 laps to go. The fuel load is about 26, 27 laps, so he might be short. But maybe not. I don't know. But if he wins, that's going to be some freaking, like, spin gate shit right there. Because he... It looked like he just kind of wrecked himself. So that's a little sussy. So I don't know. I have to look at the race replay and kind of figure it out. Unless he had, like, some like, genuine, like, mechanical problem or something. But... Yeah, the fact he's up there... It, all, it really feels like he took advantage of a, of a situation. And we got a yellow. And that's everyone a lap down. He's pitting, so... Ugh, boy, this really complicates things. So, he's pitting, so that means everyone's going to get back on lead laps, so... That's... Oh, man, that really sucks. Growl is pitting as well, so we only really got 19 people on the lead lap, like, once all this cycles through, so... Obviously, we're going to stay out. Ooh, ugh! Oh, what is this order? Wait, I'm... Wait, Byron is... Why is Bubba, Grawla, and Gregson up here? Oh, and Bubba got the restart glitch! Well, that's, that's just the worst case scenario. Alright, I don't want to be stuck on the outside. Bell, you go you go take your position. We're just going to try to salvage a third, because I think that's where we're going to actually originally finish. As long as I can hold it. Oh my god, Cindric with the send. That wasn't very nice. Well, I can maybe cut to the inside here. All right, white flag. All right. Well, I mean, we'll do the same to him. He did that to me, so I think it's only fair. Also, look at freaking Bell take the lead away from Byron. Byron's spin gate strategy is not going to be enough. Look at the last corner. Byron tried to send it. 
And are we going to get to third? Nope, but we'll, I will take a top five. <laughs> I will happily take a top five after that. I don't, we don't think I had any right to be up there. Maybe seventh. Definitely not third. But I'll take, I'll take a fourth. We got lucky. And I think Bell passed Byron on a last lap, which is even more hilarious. So we'll have to take a look at that replay whenever Byron wrecked just to kind of see what happened to him. And of course, mysteriously, in the race replay, we can't see it, so that's a little annoying. But we got the technology. We can go full replay and scroll all the way back. I just clicked the wrong button. We could scroll all the way back and figure out what happened to Byron. Okay, so here's what happened to Byron. That's spin that's a spin gate. I mean it looked like he got loose, but usually the AI don't self wreck like that unless there's some kind of weird mechanical failure so i'm gonna chalk that up to a spin gate so uh yeah that was that was pretty messed up so yeah i'm glad bell got the win to to get that that's that's just, that was just a weird circumstance that's very uh un ai like for them so yeah don't know what to make of that that's just just strange even though i did literally make an assumption so i don't know what i'm talking about but yeah, B Bell got the win. We'll bring it home top five. Ryan Blaney had no instance to hit me, so that was very satisfying. Um, Kurt with a hellacious run again, but he's got a win, so it truly doesn't even matter. He's running 27th. Ryan Blaney, 29th. That's funny. Kyle Busch with a DNF. BJ McLeod, three laps down. So, Well, we're going to get our sponsor objective. Or one, we're getting one of them, and we got good sponsor payout, good merch payout. That's 644000 which is very nice. We still keep our point lead to a insane margin and that with uh with bell's win oh, that's his first win of the year oh okay that's uh, add that to another person in the playoffs so interesting development there i have no idea who led the most laps because there's so many different leaders it, it was hard to even tell so okay it was kevin harvick all right didn't, i didn't I was not sure and tough break words probably kyle bush but i had to assume bell was on the move from 27th to first he started right there beside me huh Okay, and yeah, Kyle Busch, that's, I figured that he would be the top break award. We'll get moderate savings and driving, like usual. And, ooh, finally, we got momentum. Perfect. Right before the playoffs, too, so that's going to be even better. So now we just got to keep that top 10 streak going, I think, to keep the momentum, I think. I'm not sure how that still works. But it's Watkins Glen that's next, so I think that should be another very easy dub, so I don't think we got anything to worry about. So we'll just kind of... Actually, we have all of our road course stuff situated, so we can just kind of put everything, uh, get everything ready for our um, uh, Daytona Super Speedway chassis, even though we don't have that. So now that we got all of our work plan stuff situated, we're going to Watkins Glen. We're going to go in, well, next episode, we'll go into that with, like, proper stuff. And, of course, Ryan Blaney will forever, forever, what, will be mad. Ultimate best friend is still J.J. Yaley. I, Cody Wirtz now our second highest best friend, I'd I guess because I lapped them, maybe. I don't I don't know, but... Yeah, um, so there's really not a whole lot else to look at. We don't have to update our laps lead stat category, nor our wins, nothing with the Ryan Blaney. It was like just a straightforward, normal episode with no extra... Ed Post editor what if's going to love that a lot, so I'm sure he appreciates it. Got to have those, like, once-in-a-while races where just, you know, don't have to add in extra things. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but we can wrap up this part now. Big shout out to three Patreon supporters of Dan Reynolds, Kamikaze Games, Dave Fern, Champ 15, Bailey Kira, Golf Game 100, Mexican Link 19, 6, Mark Harmon, Akbar Fan 5556, and Jason Helmer for the support. Again, I can't thank you guys enough for your support to the channel. Every single month, it does mean a lot. Always goes a long ways. So, that's a good old, uh, I was going to say girthy. Ugh. <laughs> good old thank you for everything and all that good stuff. Next episode, we'll tackle Walk as Glenn. Maybe if that's uneventful, we'll do Daytona, but I don't really know how. Watkins Glen will be, but I don't know. We got the Southern 500 coming up, and now that we got like an upgraded car, like a proper upgraded car, we can go into that and win that fucking race, because that track has cucked me too many times, and I am owed a victory there. So, yeah. So with all that said, that'll do it for me. I will see you all next episode. See you all later, and as always, have a good day, everyone.